Hi girls, um, you've now completed your composition task. The next step is to record your composition task into GarageBand. So we're going to open up GarageBand and we're going to go to create a song. And we're going to, you probably need to scroll along here until you get to drums. And we're going to start off with a drum tra track. So we'll click on Smart Drums. And um, we come up with this here. So what we can do here is, see there's a dice here. We can um, get different rhythms by just moving the dice around. Clicking the dice, you can move these around so they... Um, where it's simple, it's loud, it's more complex on this side. Okay, you can change up here, it says hip hop uh, drum machine. You might not want a hip hop drum machine, you might like a live uh, rock kit instead. So it sounds a little bit different. Um, the other option you can do too is, um, um, is you can actually drag um, you can drag from this side over and add them to your um, drum pattern, okay? But anyway, say if I try another one, I don't like that, they're too complex, I don't like that one. I might go back to Vintage Kit, um, and so here I might just drag it in. Uh, I might put a snare. Okay, and I might like that one, so for instance. All right, so I can turn my volume up here so you can hear it. Um, and then I'll get my guitar and I'll try and um, strum with it before I decide that that's what I want. And what you'll probably find is it might be a little bit too fast, the beat. So um, I can slow it down. So if I go to this um, settings here, and the tempo's at 110, I'd probably slow it down to about... Uh, 95 or 90 let's make it 90 okay and that will give us plenty of time to um, you know strum our piece too all right so once we've decided that that's what we want I might try I might change it yeah that one that one I like that one okay so the other thing is there's this blue metronome here next to the volume bar I'm going to turn that off um, and that keeps, it sends it big to keep it in time. Um, but if you put it on, you'll end up recording it. Also, when you're recording, make sure you use headphones. Otherwise, you'll end up picking it up or the background noise as well. All right, so I'm going to press record. So it'll just start automatically recording. And you can see the red bar line at the top, recording. And what it'll do is it'll stop at the end of um, eight bars and start again. So when, once it gets to the end of the eight, we'll press stop. Okay, so we'll press stop. All right. Now, our composition is actually 16 bars. All right, so we want to make it a little bit longer. So at the end of the eight bars at the top there, we're going to press a plus sign. And we're going to put duplicate. All right. And then we have to make sure we put, go back and press all sections so that's highlighted. And now it should play for the um, 16 bars. To double check it, on the left hand side here, there's like a little ladder. It's the third icon from the left. We'll press on that. And there's our track there, okay? And it goes for the 16 bars. Now, if you don't like your track and you want to change it, you just highlight it with your finger and you can delete it. Okay, and it'll go away and you can redo it again. All right, so we've got our drum track. Okay, the next thing is we want to actually record our um, composition. So down the bottom on the left-hand side, there's a cross. We're going to click on that. And this time we're going to look for the microphone where it says voice. Okay, and you can see as I'm talking, the little green bar on the left is coming up and down. And now I'm going to pick up my guitar hear my guitar playing there. So what I'm going to do then is to start recording with the drum kit. 
in the background. So I'm going to press record. And off we go. So on, and we would record it for the 16 bars, okay? I've just stopped there at um, bar nine. So I'll go back to my ladder, and there you can see the recording. And again, if you don't like it, you can highlight it and delete it and redo it again, okay? Once you've done all of that, then you can add in some other instruments. So you might want to add in, like, say, a piano. Smart piano. Um, if you add in an instrument like this, this is not in the key of A, so we need to change it to the key of A. So I go to the wheel, I go to the key signature, I'm gonna change it to A, all right? And then you need to follow your chord um, progression on your, um, on your composition. I can either press it with my finger like that or I can put it on autoplay, which is what I'm gonna do. I can come up with a little pattern. Okay, so following the chord pattern, then I can hear the guitar and drums now, and you can play along with it first. Okay, I like that, so I'll go back and then I would record it. And then you give us an intro. And so on. Okay, I'll go back to my ladder there. Okay, now I've got the three tracks. And you can add other instruments as well. Just be mindful, you still need to follow the chordal changes if you're gonna add some other instruments. Maybe there's some sound effects that you might come across that you might wanna put in there. Once that's completed and you're happy with it and you're showing your teacher, then we can turn this into an MP3. So how do we do that? So we go um, to the very first icon, it looks like a picture or a document at the top left-hand side. And it saves your work. Um, and what you do then is you select your uh, piece. It's still saving it, I think. Um, you select your piece. So you go select. And see how we've all got um, little uh, dots there. And what we do then is... You click the one one that you want and you press share song high quality share and then you send it to um, it's exporting the song and then you send it to uh, Google classroom I don't know what happened there okay let me try that again. I don't know what happened there, but you send it to, to uh, Google Classroom. Oh, there you go. So it's come up here and you send it to, oh, I'm sending it on a chat, which is not what I want to do. Uh, I would go to Google Drive. I can either send it to Google Drive or you can send it to Google Classroom and upload it there. Okay, we'll see how you go. I hope you enjoy doing it and you get to learn how to use GarageBand as well.